brand city. He believes he could not do that without first building a big brand hospital. So he sent off to England asking for the money to build this hospital. But uh, England received the word and weren't so keen on the idea. Their response being something along the lines of, um, Well, you're just a small convict colony. You don't really have any plans for you to become anything more than that. No, you will not have the money to build a big, grand hospital. <laughs> so I do believe that's how they all spoke back then. Um, the British were very pompous back then. Not anymore, of course, but back then. Uh, anyway, they refused to send the money, is what I'm getting at there. Uh, the government of Corey was very disappointed by this, but not a man to give up. So he started to think about ways he could fund the project himself. Had a little think and thought, well, Sydney Ciders, they love... Rum uh, and any other alcohol, really, for that matter. And he thought, you know what? Someone's going to be selling them this rum, making a lot of money here in the city. So uh, he gathered three businessmen. He offered them the complete selling rights of all the rum and alcohol to the Sydney colony for three years. So long as for some of the profits they would make, they would build in this big grand hospital. And uh, so. Gentlemen, across the street, we are looking at the original south wing of the Rum Hospital. Rum Hospital, as you can known as, was 